years. Centergy in the meanwhile is the global leader in the early identification of patients suffering from any form of rare hereditary disease. So we are active in more than 100 countries, uh, for example Middle East, Latin America, Canada, we have a strong presence in the Canadian market together with our partner Life Labs. Europe, Asia, like India for example, also Indonesia, Malaysia, we are increasing our footprint and recently we opened a further laboratory also in the US, in Boston, Cambridge, to increase also our activities and bring all of the knowledge we have gained in the last years back to the patients. Because you have to understand in nowadays it's not further on the limitation of technology in the majority of the countries for sure. It's not really the topic that you are not able to sequence a gene. That can easily be done. But the challenge is really the fact how to interpret all of the data and how to respect the differences in the different genetic makeup in the different population. You can label these both topics uh, uh, with what is the knowledge, where is the knowledge and how can you generate knowledge in the improvement of the interpretation of the data. And that's exactly the focus of the company. So we are testing, we are analyzing, we are diagnosing 100,000 patients per year in the meanwhile. And everything what we are doing around the individual the patient is always improving our knowledge for the specific disease, maybe only for a millimeter or even less. But if you put all of the huge numbers of patients, more than a million, we have tested in the last years together, it has uh, generated a dramatic bunch of detailed insight into the different genetic diseases, the pathophysiology, and for sure also massively improving our understanding how to speed up the diagnosis, how to improve the interpretation, and how to develop further, even more robust tests for the patients all over the world. The dedication of Centrogene, however, is not ending with the initial diagnosis because genetics per nowadays is not yet written in stone. It's not a science where we have solved all of the issues. We are just at the beginning, especially in the interpretation of the data. Therefore, some information, some medical reports that might have been written in 2016, 2017, 2018 might, know based, might now, based on the new understanding and the new research, to be changed, to be corrected. And therefore, it's a lifelong dedication, it's a lifelong commitment, what we are doing in front of our patients in the sense of once we have identified, we are continuously rechecking, reanalyzing, and if there is new evidence or if there are new scientific data, we report it immediately to the doctor and therefore to the patient as well.